hurricane. What, when does a hurricane become a hurricane at what mile per hour when over the ocean? Let me show you why this is not a tropical storm. This is some newscaster. He's in, uh, I think, Texas. His name is Vin Crosby. Vin! What's going on? Like Vin Diesel. Vin Crosby. Ladies and gentlemen, what Vin has to say, and I, I didn't tell Vin to write this, ladies and gentlemen. I did not tell Vin to write this. But we have this individual talking about this storm getting ready to hit Idaho, Washington, Oregon, Nevada, and California. Now, let me show you what this other weather forecaster said. I was trying to find a young man I listened to two days ago. <laughs> that young man, did he did a whole display, 20, 30 minutes about this storm, talking about the pressure and how this is not seen, except for in a hurricane, the amount of pressure that they were seeing building up for this storm. And they were talking about the fact that people need to brace for it. The reason why they knew there needed to be a brace for this is because it's a combination of two storms coming together with a second storm right behind it, a more powerful storm coming right behind it. The storms are combining and coming into one. So we're not going to do that. We need to go back one mo in. Just one mo. That's it. Just a little bit mo. And we go back one mo. Oh, come on. I don't want to wait. Love won't let me wait. Okay? I don't want to wait. All right. Let's see. No, these are all. See, I'm trying to look for where the young man said it because he talked about the winds and everything. Now, as I told y'all, and I did tell y'all about a hurricane hitting California. Now, the reason why I told y'all about a hurricane hitting California is because of, oh, come on now. Quit playing with me. It, 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 this one right here. This one right here. Hold on. This one right here. A storm is brewing over the Pacific, likely to reach hurricane status by Sunday. Now, that California and Mexico get hurricanes all the time. But pay attention. This particular storm, the winds were going to be over 60 miles per hour, over 80 miles per hour. Why is that important? Because that's hurricane strength wind. That's what they usually refer to as a hurricane, y'all. And then you looked at it and you saw the circulation. The guy who did the other video, and give me a second, I'm going to try to find it real quick. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I found the video I'm looking for. This is a gentleman, and you know what? The fact that it's not taking me where I need to go, oh, because it hasn't finished yet. It's still way over here. See that right there? Y'all just hold on. I got to turn off my voice recognition. So I'll be right back. You might be interested to know this, ladies and gentlemen. These idiots at Google have changed their algorithm. The algorithm, um, let's just say every time I try, every time I tried to find this particular video, it's the very first one. But every time I tried to find it, when I'm logged in, and this is the... Uh, channel for what you call it for the YouTube videos when I'm logged in it only gave me ABC CBS NBC and all of them it did not give me things like the POW weather channel POW ponder the weather or ponder on the ponder on weather ponder on weather thinking about the weather the young man I think he's all right you know I only heard him four years ago but I saw this video four days ago. Notice he says, huge storm is coming. Extreme winds, flooding, heavy snow, severe weather. The POW, Ponder on Weather Channel. Okay? But notice what he says next, because I haven't seen this one. 
huge storm system, 80 miles per hour wind, floating. Now, this could be, it says nor'easter, so more than likely, this is back east and here. But this one right here, oh, and there's going to, I promise you, there's going to be a ton of tornadoes associated with this storm. Okay, so we're going to click on here. We're going to see where it takes us. Give me one second so we can get there. Okay. Okay. Now, when he comes on, I'm going to let him talk. But you guys will appreciate. He's going to talk about the pressure and the way this storm is set up. So I want you guys to pay attention. Okay? Because... You know, that would be, it would be interesting if when he talked about a nor'easter, because I don't watch the news, so I don't know if he's talking about the east coast or the west coast, but it would be interesting if he's talking about a nor'easter for the state of California, because that would be interesting. But I can only assure you, the amount of winds that we had all last night with this storm, yeah. Usually I can tell a storm is coming because I can tell the difference in the wind, but this one, I expected, they were talking about all the high winds and everything. I expected that on Sunday. We didn't get it until late Sunday, early into this morning. And like I said, a lot of damage outside as a result of these winds. Oh, well. So as soon as he gets ready to talk, I will bring you guys back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here he goes. Oh, come on now. You already started talking a moment ago. Open up. In this video, we're going to be talking about two back-to-back -back huge storm systems that's going to bring flooding rains, very high winds, heavy snow, and, and severe weather over the next seven days. So if you're new to the channel, I'm new to your channel. Come on now. Hurry up. Don't just stop there. Keep talking. He doesn't want to talk, y'all. Hold on. Got to get him back. Okay, I think he's back now. One second. Click the subscribe button and notification bell to get all my daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. So let's get right to it. We got a lot to cover this morning. Uh, it's going to be action packed. This is October 21st. We've got this extra tropical system that bottomed out overnight. 40 millibar drop. That was equivalent of what they call a bomb. Okay. He said 40 millibar drop. Now, I want you to pay attention. I want you to see this formation here. Isn't this how hurricanes are usually said to be starting? Now, he's going he's gonna to point some things out. I'm going to let him talk. But the millibar, he said a 40,000 millibar drop. Okay, hold on. I'm cyclone out here off the west coast here. You can almost see an eye trying to form as it, it's this is swinging up into British Columbia and then you've got the tail end of it that's going to bring some very high winds towards the coast today some very high swells out here they've got gale warnings out here off, uh, off the coast and some heavier rain that's going to be moving in off the Pacific Northwest but yet we have another system that's actually trailing behind this one. You can actually see the deepening low pressure of a 952 millibar extra tropical low pressure here. That's actually equivalent to a major hurricane. It's not tropical entity, it's extra tropical. But, no. but man, it's got some powerful winds and there's another deepening low pressure that's gonna be hold, developing hold on, hold back on. behind it. Hold on. That, Hold on, hold on for a second. I got to talk to them for a second. What this is, is going to be a one-two punch. On. Gonna send hold on. I, I know you have a lot to talk about. Did you hear him say? And severe weather across the central U.S. Oh, is going to bring some heavier snow. And this is even going to bring a, an even heavier chance of heavier rains, heavier snow, and more severe wanna, weather as we. I want to get this back. Yeah, I want to get him right about there. 
but I want I want to have him say that again. He's going to mention to you that but that ninety thousand fifty two millibar extra tropical low pressure here. That's actually equivalent to a major hurricane. Did you hear? Hurricane. Him? It's not tropical entity. It's extra tropical. But he said that's that equivalent to and a it's got some major power- hurricane. So I wasn't joking when I said that a hurricane hit California, northern California, and into the central California district, but it's actually Oregon and Washington are being hit by the same band of high wind, high surf, and heavy rain. Now, as you see, this is not your typical low-pressure system. Take a look. Does that not look like a hurricane? I didn't create this map. It's not my channel. This is this young man. And look, this one looks like it wants to develop. And see, this is normally the regular storm system. Usually have it like this, and it usually trails, and you'll see the tail end. Okay, that's usually the storm systems on the West Coast. Been watching the weather for a long time. I've never seen this on the West Coast, except for down here at Mexico. Okay, so let's let him talk just a little bit more. Careful winds, and there's another deepening low pressure that's going to be developing back behind it. This is going to be a one-two punch. It's going to send severe weather across the central U.S. is going to bring some heavier snow, and this is even going to bring a, an even heavier chance of heavier rains, heavier snow, and more severe weather as we get into the middle and end of next week. So there's a lot to talk about. Let's talk about the hazard watches today because we've got a fog, fog advisories out here for the deep south and into, into portions of uh, Texas and Louisiana. We actually got some frost advisories in the midsection of the country, and then some freeze warnings as well. All the action is off the West Coast with that that, uh, system coming in. They've already got flood watches posted in Northern California. They haven't had much rain of all in in several months. Now we've got flood watches uh, we're talking about. This is a gale warning out here off the coast of some 16 to 20 foot swells you get further out in out in the ocean, we're talking up to 30 feet swell. So that's why they've got those uh, dangerous sea, sea warnings out there today with those crashing 15 to 20 foot waves are gonna be offshore. Isn't that normally the wave size they talk about with these hurricanes that have hit, oh, Texas and Louisiana and all that. No, I'm not trying to say California needs to get hit with a hurricane. California has been hit with hurricanes before. Hurricanes have come from the Pacific. They hit Mexico all the time. So that's not the point. They hit Baja, California all the time. What I am saying is usually when it comes to California, you don't hear anything about a hurricane. You hear always tropical depression, low pressure system and all of that heavy rains you'll hear things like that but you do not hear anything about hurricanes with the amount of winds that are associated with this and the amount of power because i can guarantee you i understood it i could feel it that this storm had some power and i'm all right ladies and gentlemen though it is causing the damage it is causing i'm okay I am hunkered down. I got food supply. I am not rained out. I can travel down my road. I can drive away if I feel like it. I'm in the mountains. I am not next to a mountain. I'm in the mountains. I'm in a valley area, so there is no flooding here. Plus, a truck was donated to me, so if it ever got that bad, the truck is four-wheel drive. And it is drivable. I just have to repair some things on it, the locks and all of that stuff, because it originally was an impound vehicle, so they broke all the locks. Don't know why they broke all the locks. I guess somebody tried to steal it or something, but they broke all the locks, so now i got to replace all the locks. And Yay! Anyway, 
ladies and gentlemen, I'm only bringing this information to you all's attention because I did a video earlier talking about a hurricane hit California. And I needed to, as I always do, prove what I'm talking about. When he talks about the 90 millibars and the 40 thousand bars of drop of pressure, letting us know that this system was going to be that powerful. Not a cold system. This is not a freezing snow for system, but this is nonetheless a lot of wind, a lot of wind. Lord have mercy, a lot of wind. And it's unusual. Like I said, it has demolished two tents. And I'm so gl grateful because the one tent it demolished Somebody else is paying for that anyway. So, hey, I'm, I'm all right. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video that we talked about all of this, they blame all of this on global warming. So if this is all a global warming thing, ladies and gentlemen, what I need for you all to understand, what I need for you all to get, is that anybody who's ever had a claim against them, hold on. I got to stop him. He's talking on my tablet. That's how I had to find him. I had to go to my phablet. Phablet? Phablet. P-H-A-B-L-E-T? Phablet. Yes. Why it's called a phablet? Because it's a phone and a tablet combination. You can make phone calls. Right? I can make phone calls on mine. Yeah, I got to be connected to Wi-Fi, though. Oh, yours has a SIM card? A SIM card? Yours got a two SIM cards? Oh, that's why they call it a fabulous. Oh, that's fabulous. That is just fabulous. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I went there to pull him up, and the very first search came up his video. Here, I've been searching for this. Even when I did the first video, I was searching for his video. Why? Because he's the only one who talked about the pressure. No other channel talked about the millibars or the barometric. You, they didn't talk about any of that. So when I look for the weather from now on, wait, hold on. Hey, pal. Pal, 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 pal. I'm subscribing to your channel. Right here on my channel, I'm subscribing to your channel. You, I don't want to unsubscribe. Uh-uh. I'm, I'm staying subscribed, okay? So I'm subscribed, okay? Subscribed. So I'm going to be subscribed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I'm signing onto his channel is because I don't watch the news. And since he does the news for the entire United States, that would be helpful because I have a lot of people throughout the United States that I know and I'm concerned about. I have people who live in Louisiana, okay, and Texas, yeah, Texas, and, and, well, you know, Mexico. Whether it be new or old, they're right next to each other, so you don't know which one is which. So I have people all throughout the United States. And because of that, ladies and gentlemen, he will come in handy. Because he's going to give me the information. And look, this man has got 84,252 views of this one video since October 21st, 2021. Let's me know that I... I his delivery is not that great, <laughs> but he's worth listening to, in my opinion. So he gets my, when I need to check the weather, I'm going to him first. I'm not going to Steve Nance, and I'm not going to Johnny Mountain, and I'm not going to Al Roker. I'm not going to them people. I went to them before, and they ain't never helped me. Okay? Their forecast was always a, a wish cast. Or a presumptive cast, but it was never a this is what's going to happen cast. And so he's the only one that went into detail explaining why this is going to be so devastating. Okay, so that's what I need to do. I'm going to be going here. And his weather is, this one is 17 minutes. I'm going to give you five more minutes of my time, about a minute more of his time. Because I want him to explain something else. Uh, along the coast here, and they already have high wind watches uh, po posted for portions of uh, Oregon and Northern California, extending 
into Nevada here, and that is just going to continue because there's the one-two punch. There's this one on Thursday, and we have a yet another even more powerful system that's going to come in Sunday into Monday. So let's get into this. Let's take a look at the radar uh, later on this afternoon with that first wave of energy that's going to be coming across into the Pacific Northwest is going to bring some heavier rain into uh, along the coastal regions of Washington and Oregon and Northern California with those very uh, high winds, especially along the coast here. We also have another band in the midsection of the country that's extended into portions of the Ohio Valley. That'll bring some marginal severe weather in this area right here as this continues to push off into the southeast. Nothing terribly too concerned about this, but some of these could be on the stronger side as you get into the later in later on in the afternoon so let's take a look at the setup for the entire u.s there's that mini cold front that's coming through there's not much cold air with it it's just more or less now look at all these high areas but now here comes this low the boundary that's going to create oh, hold on, hold on. My turn. showers and My thunderstorms turn. out ahead oh, of it so on. that's why they've got some of those uh, marginal severe risks See, he don't want me to talk he, he uh, wants into to this expert. area hold on uh, this part of the hold on all right, ladies and gentlemen, what I was pointing out is this right here. All this wind and all this water is going to cause havoc all throughout here. So get ready, folks. People get ready because the river is coming. They call it a, 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 a river. I don't know why they call it a river. Pacific River or something like that. I don't know why they do that. They stupid. But anyway, you got a lot of junk coming your way, and you know what happens with high winds and a drop in the temperature. This is going to be cooler than these. Okay? Right now, the temperature is about 60 degrees, and it's 12 o'clock. So prepare yourself. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is not your weather forecast. Oh, oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I'm on Skype. I'll let you guys know about the Skype location. Doesn't mean I'm going to be communicating with you. I'm going to start doing my uh, consults on Skype. Okay? That's what I was going to do. Going to start doing my consults on Skype. Why? Because, like I said, we're transitioning from Ring Central. Ring Central is a piece of junk. Had so many problems with Ring Central. And with Skype, um, people all over the world can use Skype to communicate with people all over the world. And the only thing is you only have to pay for the phone call when you're dialing landline. But when you're calling in the Skype, you ain't got to pay for nothing. It's free! Okay, so there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I want to tell you thank you for allowing the opportunity for us to communicate about this and for me to go ahead and prove to you about the fact that California was experiencing what's known as a hurricane. And if you don't believe that this is what a hurricane does, go back and take a look. Like I said, this gentleman showed you I did not. He showed you, come on now, get all the way back over here. That right there. It's the eye of the tiger. It's oh, I'm sorry, not that eye. Okay, let's go to this eye. Come on. Come on! Uh-oh, he don't want to show y'all. All right, there you go. See, that's not your typical Pacific storm. The typical Pacific storm are the storms, the bands that you've been seeing with everything else, similar to this one. And the long tail, that's that, that so-called Pacific River. That's how that works, and all the other storms catch on to that tail, and they just ride in on that coattail. Well, that's that so-called river. The only problem is this right here ain't a part of no river. Like he says, the way the pressure is building up and the circulation, that this would normally be categorized as a major hurricane, not a massive hurricane, but a major hurricane because of the winds and the miles per hour and all of that. They ain't doing that, y'all. And you still got the warm, not cool water in the Pacific, the warm water in the Pacific. All right, just thought I'd point that stuff out. Hey, I got to go. We're at 25 minutes after. Got to go, got to go.